I think um, we, we spoke, spoke about it on Thursday at training. It was important that we didn't come in with the wrong mentality today. We knew it was going to be a tough game. Um, but we just need to get going today. We weren't good enough all around the park. Um, the boys know that. Um, it's obviously a very disappointing result. Um, I don't think we took Telford lightly. You know, we knew we were going to have to be on our game today, and we weren't. And you know, in, in this league, you learn very quickly. There's no easy fixtures, and they've came came down here today with nothing to lose. They're giving it a real go and fair place, and I think they deserve to win today. What was um, analysing the first half? I think um, we looked quite vulnerable today. I think maybe the set pieces against were our Achilles heel. We always look quite vulnerable. Um, I think the first half we only had two real attempts, which were from free kicks. So. We go in, it was 1-0, I think it was at half time, wasn't it? We managed to get back into the goal, out of the game, uh, great finish. Um, what did the gaffer say at half time? It was almost a bit of a lifeline, really. We were still, still all square, and you know, we had a clean slate. He said, you know, let's go out there and, and, and give, them, give them a good go in the second half. Um, but you're right, we conceded far too many goals this season from set pieces already. Um, and it's not through the lack of trying. We've, we've spent time on the training field with Tomo. Um, we'll do so again. You know, it's something we need to improve on. If you want to do, be successful in, in any division or any level of football, you need to be able to defend set pieces. Um, and we've got the players to do it. Uh, it's just a matter of, of doing it on a Saturday afternoon and, you know, it'll make a big difference to us defensively if we can, if we can you know, eradicate the problems from set pieces, definitely. Well, I think we come out second half, unfortunately, I was, I was down here, so I didn't see the goal um, that they scored, but I think it might have come from another set piece. Then 2-1, um, everybody's uh, still with quite a lot of optimism. And then just before we was going to get Giuseppe on and uh, Betsy was going to come on, uh, unfortunately, from a, I don't know what it was, it was from a corner, a bit of pattern of play, they ended up scrabbling over. But what frustrated today, possibly from, from a fan's point of view, was they didn't really score three great goals. Is that, was that be fair to say? Well, you've just literally um, repeated what the gaffer said in the, in the changing room. They didn't score a goal today, you know. We gift, gifted them free, free opportunities to score, and uh, that's probably the most disappointing thing. Um, but yeah, you're right. You've got to do it. You've got to do it defensively. But you know, going forward, we weren't really at it today. But like you said, we didn't create enough going forward. We didn't get enough crosses in the box. We didn't get enough shots. Um, and that, that can sometimes happen. You know, unfortunately, you know, we're in a tough division. So we've had a little chat in the changing room. It's important that we bounce back now. We've got Bournemouth in the FA Cup, which is obviously very important to the club. Um, and then you know we get back in the league campaign and um, try and get on a get on another run of good results.